What's up guys, Buckling1 here and welcome to another unboxing video. I know I haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, I think the Xbox One Elite was probably the last unboxing video I did. But uh, that's because I haven't bought anything worthy of unboxing. But today I have a, a very special little uh, gift to unbox for myself. So Valentine's Day is coming up um, and my girlfriend has very very graciously uh, decided to get me an early Valentine's Day gift so a massive shout out to her. Uh, big thanks. Um, I've been looking forward to this ever since I ordered it and it's finally here. So without further ado let's get straight into it. Here is the box. A nice box. A nice big box. This is the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTAS 1 for the Xbox One. I will primarily be using this for Elite Dangerous um, and maybe some other flight sims if they ever do make their way to the Xbox but definitely this is for Elite and I am so excited. I've got my trusty little unboxing knife here so let's just get straight into it. Let's rip this open. So yeah it's the T-Flight HOTAS 1 is a as it says the name Hotas, it's a flight stick for the Xbox um, and it should really help improve uh, the immersion level in Elite Dangerous uh, where you actually have um, a flight stick rather than a controller um, which is great. So here we are, you can see all nicely packed. This came direct from Thrustmaster. Um, they shipped it from France. So, whoops, I just hit my camera there. So I'll just pull this out. I'll pop that to the side for a sec. Got my nice little package in there. I'll get rid of this box. So, here we go. Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTAS 1. It is the official flight simulator designed for Xbox One and Windows. Um, so what you have with the flight stick is you have the uh, flight stick as well as a throttle. So HOTAS stands for hands-on, throttle and stick. Um, so it is the HOTAS controls. Here's the box on another side. Um, you can get pedals for it as well which will control the rudders. I won't be getting them just yet, but they are on my radar. I've only just got this, and I've all, I'm already wanting to get something else. But definitely, just for now, this is uh, this is good enough for now. So, um, let's get opening it. I'll spin it this way. So nicely packed. Um, I'll actually pop it on its side, I guess, and see if I can pull it out. Whoops. So yeah, this is my first look as well. I actually haven't got to, to see what this is like. So I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, so noisy. And that smell. I love the smell of new peripherals. Okay, so here we go. All right. Right, let's get it out. Put it down. Get rid of this. So here are all the cables, the manual, we can put that to the side. So the um, the stick and the throttle do actually um, come apart. I'm more than likely going to actually keep them together in a configuration like this somehow. Um, but yeah, this, this feels awesome. This feels so, so cool. So on the left hand side you have your um, thrust. On the back, it has some nice little buttons there, some buttons here too. Um, on the side then, you can see it has your uh, Y, X, A, B, or A, B, X, Y, whatever way you want to put it. And you also have some programmable, I'm assuming, programmable buttons down here. Um, anything else? There's some static on this, that's why some of the stuff is sticking. Um, it feels pretty sturdy actually, and there's a nice... So, there's a nice bit of go in the... Um, in the actual, in the the uh, the thrust, but it actually it kind of snaps into midway, which I like a lot. Um, so I'm gonna have to obviously do this properly because there's a bit of wobble there. Um, but yeah, it kind of it snaps into like it's stuck into midway, which is kind of cool. Um, as for the stick itself, it's still a bit wobbly. There must be something sticking out. Yeah. Um, so you can change the resistance actually on it. You can tighten the resistance. Um, the resistance actually feels quite good at the moment. Um, so you have your primary trigger here. 
and the back feels nice. Then you have another button here, and you have a couple of buttons here, as well as I think this is secondary fire, and then you have like a little multi-directional hat button here, um, as well as the Xbox buttons uh, down here. Um, overall, the unit feels quite sturdy. Um, I do actually like the feel of it, and you do have twist. It has a twist function as well, so I'd imagine that is for possibly yaw, possibly roll, I'm not entirely sure, um, but it does have a twist function there, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's a one, two, three, four axis, and then you have five and six as well, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, wow. This is awesome. I actually, I'm really looking forward to playing with this. Um, obviously, this is in no way going to be any kind of impressions video or anything like that because I do not have any impressions other than the visual impressions that I have so far. Um, but I am going to go down, get it hooked up and figure out exactly what it's like. Uh, the cable itself is actually, it looks to be quite long, which is good. Um, gives you a bit of extra... Uh, length if you are quite a ways away from your TV that won't be an issue for me because I play on a desk um, so my monitor is actually on the desk along with my Xbox so this will be fine for me but uh, yeah this looks this looks awesome I can really I can really imagine myself playing Elite with this uh, it's obviously going to take a long time for me to actually get fully accustomed to it fully used to it um, so I won't be able to give like a full in-depth review on it for I don't know a bit of time anyway because I I just can't there's just so much learning to this I imagine it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot different because I'm used to playing Elite with two controllers so I have uh, pitch and pitch and yaw on the left I think and roll on the right um, so I, I'm used to using my two thumbs for that, but now I actually have just one, one con, one stick for that basically, um, and then I I have my fire, um, so all that will be controlled with one hand, and then my left hand, which actually used to control um, pitch and roll, will now control thrust and some of the other functions. Um, so it's going to take some getting used to. I still need to figure out what these two big buttons are at the back I'd imagine they'll have something to do with um, with thrust maybe I could use them to change fire groups and stuff but there are there's a lot of buttons on this um, so I'm actually quite happy with the amount of buttons that they have um, and I'm sure they can be programmed and put to good use as well but overall so far um, I'm I am enjoying this I need to figure out exactly how this works how it snaps together but I'll get all that sorted anyway um, so yeah full um, first impressions video will be coming on this soon um, and I will also do a full review once I actually do finally get to grips with it but for now that's all from me guys this is the T-Flight HOTAS 1 Xbox One flight controller and I have been buckling one thank you very much for watching I'll see you in my next video